Noor Odeh is a Palestinian affairs analyst and former spokesperson for the Palestinian Authority. She joins us from Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Noor, are Gazans likely to accept Israel's four-corner plan and will they have any choice in the matter? Well, thank you for having me. I'm not sure that we can really call this a plan. I think uh, what Galant announced uh, has to do more with the internal divisions within the Israeli governing coalition. It was Galan trying to indicate to perhaps to the Biden administration that he would be amenable to discussing something other than ethnic cleansing and uh, other war crimes which are being uh, endorsed by Netanyahu's Likud party and uh, their coalition partners. Um, what Galant was talking about is a, a governing Palestinians against their will, kind of having a, a, a more focus on security and uh, really no details as to day-to-day uh, um, uh, -day civilian life. Um, and I think we, we can draw from that, that Gallant agrees with Netanyahu, that they don't want to see a unified Palestinian government responsible for the West Bank and Gaza. They certainly don't want to uh, give Palestinians the right to choose their own leaders. And as such, I think it is not just unrealistic, but it's um, impossible to implement, especially, again, that it relies on the assumption that Arab countries would send in troops to do Israel's bidding in Gaza. And that is a pipe dream, if, if there was ever any. Are there any parts of the plan that you think Palestinians might find tolerable and that would be workable? Well, I think the only way to find out is if the entire approach to uh, figuring out what happens completely changes. This is not about what Israel can live with. This should be about what the Palestinians want, what Palestinians can achieve. And the fact that Israel, as an occupying power, really has no right to intervene in Palestinian governance, to continue occupying territory in Gaza, or to create so-called buffer zones. We've heard from ministers in this government talking about shrinking the size of Gaza up to 45 percent. That is an impossible, impossible formula to achieve unless, unless we go back to the real, uh, I think, uh, uh, objective of this genocidal war, which is to expel Palestinians from the Gaza Strip to ethnically cleanse them out of their land and to vacate that entire territory and annex it uh, to Israel. And that's why I think international intervention is so important, one that is focused and centered on what is legally acceptable and what is practically possible, uh, because at the end of the day, nobody's going to govern the Palestinians against their will. Any governing arrangement would have to have popular endorsement in Gaza, or else it will be met by resistance. I mean, you say it would have to have popular endorsement. The reality is there might not be this kind of international support for a, a legal government there. It might be that people in, Pal in Gaza have little choice over the matter. Well, there's always a choice. And at the end of the day, if whatever governing uh, body or arrangement is reached in accordance with Israeli terms, then we will see how the Palestinians in Gaza will react. They will not work with that government. They will not recognize it and they will resist it. Um, and what the international community would have created is a quagmire that everybody is bogged down in and nobody can get out of. And that's why I keep going back to the idea that if uh, we're going to have um, a responsible way to end this genocidal war, it has to be centered on what is legally acceptable and what is tolerable, what is uh, um, uh, uh, what could be endorsed by the Palestinians. They're the owners in, of that land. They live there. They need to have a say in who governs them. And the attempts to disconnect Gaza from the West Bank really appease the right wing in Israel, but do nothing to serve uh, overall Palestinian national interests. Palestinians don't want that kind of separation. And I think you will hear more and more about why they want to see a unified government, no matter what it what it turns out to be or what kind of shape it will take. That needs a lot of Palestinian housekeeping. Uh, but but again, that is a Palestinian issue that the world needs to support or else, like I said, it would end up 
uh, being a quagmire that is completely out of everybody's control. It certainly remains hugely complex. Nur Ade from Ramallah, many thanks.